Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Ballistic Bull, aka mine, from the BBTFRG, and welcome to my first Bullships video of this season. We're going to take a look at some 4ER gameplay. We're going to take a look how I've climbed to 18.5. But first, I'm going to show you my tech tree. Uh, for those of you that have joined me on live stream, you've seen me progress this so far. But for those of you who haven't, here it is. The gunboat, landing craft, all the usual suspects you'd expect to see there at the start of the tree. Max, boom mines maxed. We're not going to go there. The sniper tower, then I got 3ER, I got Sparky. I ignored smoke. Oh no, we're not going there. Uh, troop health bombers multi-node rocket launchers mechs shock launchers simo at the moment although that may get changed to a boom surprise or possibly even a microwave shortly depending on what hits i get uh, talk more about that in a minute gbe mortars then i went 4er hoping that 4er was going to be a push point it wasn't that was yesterday but today i picked up rifles max them and flamethrowers rifles have been a bit hit and miss but mostly because I don't have this node here my troop health node uh, I would strongly recommend if you are going to 4ER with rifles that you have your troop health node before you do that because they are a little bit buttery they're a little bit like jelly without the troop health node you know they melt easily under the slightest bit of heat but um, yeah we've been a couple of hits we've done rifles but on the whole I'm still kind of relying on my mechs as a meat shield got the flare tick four so tomorrow we get rocket choppers and if i can manage to hit 19 i will be getting boom cannons as well but uh, let's take a look at how i've managed to get to where i am on the trophy road at the moment here's my log as you can see it's nine out of ten the only defeat i've had to pp go um he was a 19 so i wasn't too disappointed about that pato uh, 230 but he was a 3er jenks 216 to 148 i think he was a 3er as well this guy he fizzled on me he was a four so so when you're going into these bases i could pretty much tell that he's going to hit me with rocket choppers he's got no rocket launches he's got no cannons he's got no green mines which suggests to me that he has gone for rocket launchers straight away so this guy we did like this we'll put it on double time we went one rifles and six bombers cleared the front drop delay drop the other rifles and we flared up right into the middle here all the troops shock the shock launcher and we just let them fan out yes he's got plenty of boom mines so we are going to lose some diddles let's say we just let them go to work keep the shock mine shot keep the boom cannon shocked eventually we got one left hail mary and that was that we got him like i say we got him in about i think that was short because he fizzled but that was kind of up with around the 240s that uh, hit okay so this one was slightly different uh, i've done three five with the mechs so mechs sort of spread out across the beach so we just kind of done one two over this side two three mechs and gramps over the other side keep the simo shock so they don't affect gramps then just kind of let them clear naturally shutting down what needs to be shut down so you can see the mech there with his shock ability taking care of the rocket launch and then it's just kind of trying to strategically let some critters go from Sparky at the right time. So Sparky just took a step to the right there, which was brilliant. When I let us critters go now, it's going to take out those mines. Take this cannon down, let another set go so they come off to the right. Just clear that out there and then we Hail Mary in. I lost a lot of gramps on those three, but not enough to affect the hit. Hail Mary that last ER and that got us the dub on that one. Let's take a look at that was Tazone. Let's take a look at Derek. I think that was quite a close one. He was a 4ER. So this was a slightly trickier base. Just pop it, pop it on pause for a minute because I had to clear out this defense at the front. As the mechs kind of clear out this side, they all kind of head up this way whilst these mechs are heading up here. So we kind of get a bit of a natural split. So look out for that. Shot the shot launcher and the Simo. Time everything gets in place. Critter uh, Sparky gets some critters off. That's the Simo taking care of the critters although we've got the shock there and I say they kind of come in on this corner and then they'll split a little
little bit. So we're getting good mine clearance with the with Sparky's critters at the moment. So strategically kind of trying to time their release so that they take as many mines as possible. Sparky not in the best position, although she did move across, which allowed me to clear those mines. And then it was just a question of taking down this sort of defense, the shock launcher, rocket launcher mortar in front of this ER, and then we could just get on and Hail Mary the first ER, the second ER, shocking the things that might cause us any issues. And that was that. That was for a two minute eight. So this one was three five drop again. Derek's drop right in the corner there. Flare the cannon. Shock on the shock launcher, although it was a little bit late coming out. And then just really let them let them clear and let them go to town. Kind of want Sparky to go towards that rocket launcher, which luckily she does. So we can get some critters off. Didn't get that first stack of three cleared, which was going to cost me because these three bombers that are now taking care of that mortar are going to walk across them. Then, then we started to get some luck with the critters and their mine clearance. Clear out that little area there. Drop a shock on the shock launcher. Then we could take that out and Hail Mary the final one. We're going to lose some to mines, but shocks on the things that are going to get us, like the rocket launcher. Biggest victory for the evening. So as you can see, I took down a level 20 when I was at 17, which got me to a massive 23 stars. So 18 for the win, plus the five bonus stars for the win streak. So yeah, massive 23 stars against a rank 20. That actually put me into rank 18. That was fantastic. Let's go and take a look at how I beat him. He had kind of quite a spread out base. Plenty of boom mines. No, we're not going to talk about that. Plenty of green mines spread out. Now, normally what I do with this hit would be that shock launch is kind of up the back here or rocket launchers. I'd kind of flare them into the middle and just let them spread. But with that kind of mine coverage like that, that wasn't really a viable option. So what I decided to do was go two mech, one rifle, five bombers, clearing the two arms of this opening, drop the rifles a little bit late. The rifles really there just to try and tank some mines, clear up to kind of clear up to here and then flare across to the middle, take out those few front defenses and then kind of Hail Mary the final ERs. That was the plan and it went really quite well. So Mech took the heat from the shock launcher. We managed to pop a couple of boom mines along the way there. Didn't lose too many ramps. Rifles doing their job. Up into this area here, like I said, then we flared over just over slightly shock some stuff around we take that boom can uh, sorry the boom surprise out and then uh, let the let the diddle spread a little bit we took that left wait for that left hand one to drop flare the right one flare that final one and that was worth 23 stars which was a fantastic that was my boss fight into 18 uh, that yeah and that's what's put me to where i am now so plan here will be to push on to 19 try and and get that 19 chest like I said with that 19 chest with my three chests tomorrow or today sorry when the video comes out three chests today will give me my rocket choppers and the boom cannons hopefully if I can get that 19 hopefully going live this evening so don't forget to tune in and watch me live on bullships as I try and push towards diamond I think diamond might be a bit optimistic but certainly pushing more on towards diamond uh, that will do for now we're going to wrap it up Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and share and hit the bell and all that stuff that the YouTube algorithm loves. And I will see you on the next Bullships. Peace.